Welcome back, I'm Hannah McElroy. Antiques are better when there's more than just one, and the same goes for antique stores. Come along with me as I check out the latest addition to Mason's Antique District and find out exactly where it all comes from. Thrift stores, estate sales, along the road, <laughs> dumpsters, you know. <laughs> Magpie Tales is one of the eight antique shops in downtown Mason. And this one was born after owners Tara Wilson and Teresa Bates met while shopping at another antique store in town. Where, you know, where can I go next? Is, is this place open? I've heard of this one. Can you tell me where there's more shopping? So it was, it was just kind of, um, that it just was meant to be. Bates and Wilson's love for antiques and flipping furniture brought them together. But what about filling a new store with old antiques? Excess items each of them had helped them fill the store. Sourcing is pretty easy. Yeah. Um, garage sales, um, people you know, your own house <laughs> a lot of times, <laughs> yeah. just items that you know you no longer want or need. Vendors also keep the space diverse as well, oh, wow. but they're not the only ones lining the stores. Many Mason residents bring in items to be appraised after a loved one's passed. All of a sudden you're, you have this person's stuff, all their stuff, and you're like, what do I do with it? I don't need it. But in true antique style, some of it just comes with time. There are vendors within these buildings that have been here for 30, 40 years, and they have a following. From furniture to jewelry, Magpie Tales seems to have it all. In Mason, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Hannah McElroy, Fox 47 News.